are. Uh, so for the Splendor uh, how-to video, I'm going to show you how to dissolve edges, vertices, and faces. So first things first, let's create a UV sphere. Get close, add some more segments. Actually, less segments, yeah, okay. And make sure it's visible. Tab edit, go to faces here, and then select any of these two faces or more faces. Uh, just that depends on you. So to dissolve these faces, so it's just all one face, select them, then go to dissolve faces. See, that's pretty much how you see. Uh, and so you can do unsubdivide and it looks weird. I'm not sure why I did that, but just so you notice. Um, then let's go with edges. Let's say we want uh, all these edges here gone. So it's just one big, big uh, square. So if you just do these two, solve edges, it'll eliminate and you create two faces. And again, if you just do this one, it'll eliminate that one. Um, and you can do this to create pretty cool things. So let's see, um, go to vertices. Let's say we just want to get rid of this vertices. So we have this giant square right here. Again, right click, dissolve vertices. And then you have that created right there. So let's see, uh, delete the vertices instead of creating it, right? If you delete the vertices, it'll create this hole right here. Let's say we want to create a hole, like an actual hole here. So select all the vertices right here. I'm just expanding on this. So then go to subdivide. Actually, smooth them now. Connect. No, no, no. We actually need some loop tools. So to actually get those showing, go to edit, preferences, uh, add-ons, loop, mesh loop tools to activate them, refresh, exit, right? So then loop tools, circles. And so you can create a circle like that. And that's why uh, dissolving edges is pretty important, along with vertices, stuff like that. So you can create uh, parts like this. And so then with that loop tool, let's say uh, we want to create like an arm, right? Or just let's say squiggly something, right? Let's actually put it and do X. this, extrude, extrude, S, extrude, S, extrude, S, and then again, extrude, go further, E. Now, let's say we want to create like a point right here. So what we can do is press M, add center, merge everything. And so then we have this like, I guess, noodle appendage or something like that. <laughs> um, create tab. And so we can create horns, arms, legs, and stuff like that. And hopefully this helps. So just um, so you know, um, that's how you dissolve edges, vertices, and faces. And going further, you can uh, add a mesh tool uh, add-on and then be able to create uh, different types of appendages um, based on just that simple information. And I hope this helps and best of luck.